Why are the bottom of Boeing 737 engines flat? If you've ever looked at a Boeing 737 engine, you might have noticed something odd. The bottom circle of the engine casing flattens out instead of continuing the same circumference. There's a very special reason for this, and we'll explain why. To answer this question, we first need to examine the initial design principles of the Boeing 737. Originally, the aircraft was built for airports in a different age, one in which only a few airports had stair cars and even fewer had jet bridges. An aircraft back then had to have doors, especially cargo doors, that an operator or cargo handler could climb into without any ladder or truck. With that in mind, the Boeing 737 series was made to operate as low as possible with a belly that almost scraped along the surface of the runway. Overdramatic, but you get the idea. However, as engine technology improved, engineers discovered the more air that you can put into an engine, the more efficient its fuel will be. This is called the bypass ratio. To get more air into the engine, you need a bigger turbine which is powered by a bigger fan. Bigger fans require a bigger intake and an engine casing to fit. Problem is, unlike its rival, the Airbus A320, which was built with bigger engines in mind, the Boeing 737 was actually too low to the ground to have any bigger engines. Boeing could have moved the engine to a different area of the plane, such as a trijet model or overwing, but this would have significantly changed the aerodynamic profile, leading to pilots having to retrain and be recertified. Thus, Boeing was out of luck and faced an expensive redesign of the 737. However, engineers looking at the aircraft realized that the casing of the engine was the problem. Couldn't they simply have a shape that wasn't round and thus would not hit the ground as the plane rolled along the runway? Thus, the new Boeing 737 engine was flattened along the bottom despite still containing a larger fan and turbine. This did have bad aerodynamic properties and caused more drag than a round engine, but the increased amount of air entering the engine caused the bypass ratio to expand so much that it's made any problems negligible. The Boeing 737 Classic Series, the 300s, 400s and 500s, were the first to feature the CFM56 engine, well known for its hamster pouch, non-round design. Because the aircraft still flew the same and had the same aerodynamics, pilots did not have to retrain nor be recertified. In retrospect, perhaps not improving the Boeing 737 design to take bigger engines back in the day resulted in the situation we have with Boeing 737 MAX. But we'll leave that up to you to comment on. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Simple Flying channel and be sure to click the notification bell.